It's July 24th. All right, one of the things I want to do, let me change this music level because it's really loud to the point that sometimes we can't hear speeches being given. And I, I for one, would love to hear their speeches. This game's actually, it's actually really entertaining. Okay, so let's see. What do I need to fix? Serve a dish that contains the same ingredient five times. Yeah. Serve a dish containing all ingredient types of your match themes. Do I have any other? No, I don't have any other expertise books. Okay, that's fine. There has to be some way to figure out this monster problem. Fresh said he had a morning duel today, but I bet Kieran's at Belkior's. I need to get over there and see how I can help. Iron stomach, wait up. <coughs> Still jumpy, eh? I wouldn't be if you'd stop sneaking up on me. Fair enough. So about that match today, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'd totally forgotten with everything else going on. Trust me, you're going to want to remember this one. Catch you later. All right, so I guess we have to do the practice job, uh, practice match. And then uh, this is Belky yours, yeah? Why, my faithful assistant. I was hoping you'd answer the brigade's call. Really? But you had Kieran all this time. What's the old adage? Too many cooks might spoil the broth, but many chefs make light work. The same is true for alchemy. All right, let's get to work. Okay. Uh, we got to be careful not to break too many things here. Which means I'm going to break everything all in one shot. There we go. And then I guess I need to move. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. Let's move that. Oh, God. The greens are broken. And I got to give the red one in, too. Shoot. Uh oh. Oh, it just went down a level. It didn't break completely. Okay, so I need to redo this one. I need to redo this one in a way that keeps me from breaking anything. So I feel like this was a smart move. There we go. So the greens, I need to not break the greens. How about if we move this here? Move that. Now, if we do this and then this, there we go. Got them all. What makes these hard is that in the scenario where I need to figure this out, I don't have time. I'm also being timed. So I could sit and figure this out, but I won't have enough time to figure it out and do everything that I need to do. That's what's making this part hard. All right. We got to be careful about the greens. To be honest, I don't see how. Oh, I think we're going to have to break them intentionally. But I was going to say, I don't see how I can make the greens work. Actually, no, never mind. These two greens here and then this one green down here, they're all the same level. Okay. So if I do this, this, and then that first. Now we do this. This, this, and now that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is definitely a thing where I have to sit and figure it out time-wise. Okay, we've got that, which will not get rid of either the poison or the bones. Okay, let's see. Where do I start? Where do I start? What pot is this? Oh, oh, I picked this up and go over here. Can I cut out the poison? Yes, we can give her the poison. Okay, didn't think we could. So let's give her the bones too, since we have no way to no way to use those to our advantage. Now we'll come back over here and drop this in. We'll have to worry about things being broken, which is perfect. Okay. Thank you, game, for teaching me that I can, in fact, 
cut poison out. Worst case scenario, if I can't mix up the poison. If I can't mix up the poison, what I can do is uh, cut it out. So I'm going to leave the cutting board in. I will. I absolutely, I know for a fact I need the cutting board. Before I left, we made so much progress. Did you figure out how to make ambrosia? No. With mounting suspicion about the monster threat, the brigade requested I find a cure. But now that we've discovered it can be safely prepared, surely that takes some pressure off. Quite right. I'm certain we'll discover both solutions very soon. All right. Pretty dope. Now let's go deal with, uh, let's go deal with our lady. So you've returned. Whoa, yeah. I didn't think you'd notice. Not you. I was talking to that very persistent fly who likes to land on my babies. Babies? <sighs> my trophies. How sweet? All right. We need some more ingredients. Of course, that means we're going to work, fam. You don't get... Don't you even. You could never. Oh, he's going to. Oh, he get he went for the thing first. And a Dastin. You could never. There we go. That's a dope action pose. You know, I think I do remember you. You're the girl with the walking kettle, right? Um. Um, no. I mean a Han. Walking kettle? That's exactly me and Mina. So far this entire playthrough, me and Mina have been on point with each other. One and one. Let's see. Oh, there's there's things. There's things here. Purifying oven. A Belkyo original. It slowly converts bad tasting gems. Or bad taste gems. Okay. Okay. And then the hearty oven is slowly repairs. Yo. Yo. <laughs> okay, so if I get both of these, I actually don't need to worry about the poison one, right? Or breaking gems. I think, let's see, that'd be what, 97? Match expertise, vegetarian. Uh, serve only serve a dish only containing plain ingredients other than the theme ingredient. And then saucier. Serve a dish that was sauced three times. Serve a dish, one ingredient per monster. Okay, I think, listen, listen, listen. I think these two here. I think these two here are the perfect ones. I think I want though. I'll, I'll buy it though. <laughs> I'll buy it though both. Okay, so now let's check our, our equipment. So if I get rid of the cutting board, then I, if, I'm sorry, if I replace, if I want to use the purifying oven, I don't have to worry about the cutting board. And then I can go ahead and switch this with anything at that point. It'll slowly repair the fragile one. So if, if I put in broken stuff, I can move it over to the hearty oven. Now everything cooks everything, right? No, wait, I'm sorry. I think this is still the only thing that cooks something because it's the only one match three. But I can move these pots around, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Let's go do that practice, uh, the practice cook with, uh, with our boy. Wait, wait. I thought you wanted to practice. You don't want to practice? Just say the word and we'll head to the practice kitchen. I wanted to. What do we? Why? I can't challenge anyone else, can I? Okay, so that must be what I. That must be what I have to do. Let's go. Oh, we can't go into the restaurant. Curious. There's a note from Pontita. For the first time in ten years, the Crescent has decided not to open its doors to dinner. We'll resume service as soon as all staff members are briefed on proper handling of mutated monster meat. All right, that's to be understood. Let's do this. But wait, who's going to judge the match? Jelly, of course. Who else? Blub. That seems unfair. That seems a little bit biased. <laughs> Your funeral. Just a little bit biased.
before we start, I have a confession. I started the monster plague. Y you Psych! Just kidding. But I do know what's causing it. What? Really? Well, mostly. That's where you come in. Huh. If you're serious, I'm happy to help however I can. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Ready, Jelly? He's going to judge? How does he eat? Probably with his mouth. Hmm. <laughs> Jelly says he'd die for some fire and earth. So let's serve it up. All right. As for our theme ingredient, let's do King Bean. King Bean. Something something that's been tame, you know? And we've been hunting dragons in in Barun. Come on now, King Bean. This is going to be tame. All right, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's see. Now I just got to I just got to remember how I find King Bean. I, I am not in remembrance. If I'm not mistaken, it might be in this flying fellow. Nope, there he is. There he is. He wants fire and earth as well as King Bean. Okay. That we can do. That we can do, good good jelly, or uh, er, good blob. No! Don't you dare attempt to murder me. Shoot! X, uh, there we go. Got him. All right, we got meat. Nope. Hey, bring your ass back here. Oh, did he eat it? Clown. All right, fine. 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 I'm not mad at all. <laughs> I'm not mad at all. Okay, let's go to work. Fire and earth is what what Jelly here desires. Fire and earth, he shall get. Here we go. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You don't get. Give me that egg. Give me that egg, fam. Wait, I want the egg. Here, someone else have the egg. In the nectar. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come on, sucker. Big boy. There we go. Don't nobody fly up and try and take this from me. I'm be mad. I'm be legitimately mad. Earth, there we go. All right, let's take King Bean with us. Let's throw that in the pot. Now King Bean is fragile, it seems. So let's throw King Bean. Is this the right pot? Which pot is this? Yeah, this is the right pot. Okay, let's throw King Bean in there. And then while that's working up, oh wait, cook it up for me. There we go. Now while that's working. Well, that was quick. Let's throw these in. Let's throw all these bad boys in. And we got more bone. We got more bone, so we ain't even got to worry. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we're running out of time. This is a shorter one. Okay. There we go. Keep gooking. Keep gooking, they looking. Throw that bad boy there. We get these combos off. Put this in here. Come on. Put it in. Well, let me put in. Did it put in? There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's my fault. I was hitting the wrong button. Yes. Come on. Okay, the wild card, right? There we go. Oh, we need equal amounts. I remember that. We need equal amounts of of uh, things of different of the of the required. There we go. That's how words work. Okay, so we need one more bit of fire. How about we? We cheat a little bit. Let's be real. Let's cheat a little bit. There we go. So we got equal amounts fire and water. Let's go add some more stuff. Let's go add more king bean. How about that? Let's spice this meal up. We'll do this meal right. And like I said, this one's already biased against us. The judge can't be impartial here. Come on. More king bean. You don't back yourself. You don't back yourself, fool. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. What we got? Wings. Oh, uh, we need one more thing. Let's throw one more thing in this pot. Fine. Fine by me. All right. So let's see what we gonna add in. 
What are we going? Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. Water. I'm sorry. Fire. Earth. Let's cook it up. Let's cook it up here, boys. We don't need to worry about that gem being broken. What else we got? Earth sauce? Let's earth sauce it up. Actually, before we earth sauce it up, let's put this in. Okay, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. Here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to mix this here. Earth sauce, this in the middle. It's fine. It's fine, Mina. Here we go. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to do math. Here we go. Okay, I think we might be at a disadvantage. It's not equal parts, but I think that's just going to have to do. I think that's just going to have to do. All right, so Ziggy has served squickle stomach and guts dipping sauce. Served with squickle tentacle and king bean melange. And then we served barun spare ribs, topped with cheap chi horn and barun steak medley. We get bonus twenty five. I think we lost, didn't we? I did it! Oh, we won! Oh, wow! <laughs> I could have sworn he had 59, not 49. It's like I thought. This isn't a real blight, it's man made. What? Who would do something that horrible? <laughs> Who indeed. On purpose, it would be too much for most people to stomach. But covering up an accident? That's a little easier on the conscience. Mm. But there's only one way to find out. Breaking into the brigade's research lab. What? Do you want to be imprisoned? How can you think it's their fault with how hard they're trying to fight it? I started with some scraps of information from this body I'm possessing. Excuse me? But once I showed up here, solving this problem turned out to be a lot more complicated than I hoped. Ziggy, if you're just going to keep making jokes, I've got to get back to town. People's lives are at stake. But I'm not joking. This is the real me. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> stop playing around! I'm not proud of the things I did to get here, but I want to stop this outbreak. I don't need help breaking into the lab. But I can't bring the information I find to the brigade. They don't trust me. But you, I know how determined you are to get to the bottom of this. You're not just in it for the tournament reinstatement. Help me end this. I don't know what to make of your stories. But I do want to put an end to the outbreak. To be honest, I've been meeting with Kieran and Thrash about it already. She's working on a cure. A cure? Well, that would be interesting. So what do you say? After you get the information, come find us. I'm against the break-in, but this is too serious to ignore. All right, Hamburger, and don't worry. I'll be silent as a snake. I can't tell if I'm more unsettled by Ziggy's transformation or the thought that someone in the brigade is at fault. There's a whole conspiracy story going on here. This game is wild. All right, back to Capital City. Chefs, I require your undivided attention. I wish to keep this brief so that we may release our findings to the public. It's like I keep lowering the volume of the music, and then he keeps giving his speeches quieter and quieter. Due to your exemplary work, our scientists have determined mutated ingredients are not harmful when properly prepared. I'd like to extend special recognition to the members of C Squad. There were some in the committee who doubted our decision to reinstate you. You've gone above and beyond to prove you deserve your place among the other contestants. To that end, we've changed the rules for this year's proving tournament. Chefs won't be expelled until their fifth loss, but your previous record carries over. With that, our tournament begins anew. Vive la Brigade! All right. That doesn't help us 
because we we're undefeated so far. But that's actually good. That's actually really good for the tournament. I hope trusting Ziggy was the right decision. Surely he wouldn't break into a brigade lab without good reason. Come again? Uh oh. <laughs> you know, for a guard, you're not very alert. Ha ha. What are you doing out this late? Oh no, you first. <coughs> What's this about breaking into a lab? If I tell the truth, will Thrash try to stop him? Will he tell Razzle? Come on, Blue. You know you can trust me. <sighs> it's Ziggy. He thinks the mutation was started by one of the Brigade's alchemists. He's breaking in to find out for sure. I told him to come find us once he has the evidence. Yo, what if... See, they I, I shouldn't have used the word conspiracy because now... Until the end of the game, my entire brain is going to be wrapped around stuff like this. But what if what we were helping Belchior make is actually the poison that is that has been affecting everything? What if that's the blight? That would be crazy. Kieran's not going to like this. And you? Ziggy's a weird guy. I don't know if I trust him. I know what you mean, but when he talked about the outbreak... I believe him when he says he wants to fix it. Then, that's all I need to hear. I've got to get back to my post. Good night, Blue Jay. Night, Thrash. 